Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe here in Tokyo, Japan. We got another Ghost Hunters report for you. Now, if you haven't been made aware of this by now, our local village idiot, uh, of course I'm referring to Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, is going to Pearl Harbor. Yeah, to say sorry. And, oh, we're such good friends of America now. Now, this big ceremonial hoopla, as it seems to me, has three main things going on with it. All right. Now, the first one being, this is a very convenient time for our dear Prime Minister to be doing some grand ceremonial spectacle to distract from something else going on here in Japan. It has to do with the hotly contested and been long drawn out now uh, plan to legalize casino gambling here in Japan, more importantly here in Tokyo. Now, gambling, not really something that um, a lot of Japanese people are in support of, especially full-on gambling. Now, we do have gambling, so to speak, in Japan in the form of pachinko, but pachinko is not full-on direct gambling. It's highly regulated, and um, the place where you gamble and the place where you collect your money can't be the same building. And it's much easier to control and to keep under wraps. And uh, all the social ills go along with it are, are uh, marginalized. But then again, it's still any gambling. But full-on casino gambling, oh boy. You talk about something that would bring problems that most people here don't want. That be it. Now, have this big grand spectacle that distracts from what's going on. Now, it's going to probably pass quietly through the parliament and the plan will go through. Right? So, Shinzo Abe has that convenient little thing right now. They can distract. Hey, look at me. I'm going to Port Harbor. Media goes, media goes whoa, 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 uh, look at that. And we'll focus on that and the actual politics going on in the country will be forgotten about for the time. Now, whether that's done on purpose or not, you know, who knows, but... It is rather convenient. The second point. As we know, Japan and the U.S. have a very chummy, often one-sided relationship. Now, Shinzo Abe and the ruined LDP have a long history of, when in doubt, kiss America's ass. Right? Now, this new president coming up in America soon, Trump, has said some things that um, worry the bourgeois here in Japan about the relationship. So how do you share that up? Well, you run over the Pearl Harbor and you say, oh, we Japanese are so sorry about this, you know. Uh, we, we want to put the past behind us. America's so good. Look at us. Our prime minister's here in Pearl Harbor. America love us, you know. Because as long as they have this real close relationship, Japan pretty much gets, gets away with the bourgeois in Japan. Get away with being a pure gang of horses' asses. To the rest of Asia and create more problems than they do solve often so as long as they have America you know on their side they can get away with a lot of pretty heinous shit right and cause a lot of problems and friction and it's, it's about in the end when it gets too heavy they go uh, America is on our side better not fuck with us and of course you know a lot of these countries really don't want to deal too much with the American Empire when they don't have to especially that considering the fact that America has its military right here in Japan to make that convenient threat whenever needed. Now, the third point I think is going on here is it's very interesting that our village idiot, Shinzo Abe, has no problem running to Pearl Harbor to apologize so much to the Americans for the war, but struggles to come to terms with the Nanking Massacre Right, this guy has always questioned it. And not only that, but he has appointed people up and down in his administration who have clearly come out and said, Nanking Massacre never happened. It's all propaganda by the Chinese communists, you know, to vilify us. You know, it was war. All was fair in war. We don't know what they're talking about. It never happened. These clear deniers of actual historical fact, which does nothing but inflame the shit Oh, the relationship between China and Japan and the rest of Asia. So you have these three things going on here with uh, Abe going to Pearl Harbor. I don't see it as being anything other than what I've pointed out here. But if you see something different here, 
If you see it different than I do, of course, leave a comment box, get a comment in a comment box below, excuse me, or just any comment in general you have about this video, please share. And if you really enjoyed the video and haven't subscribed yet, please do. You get lots of vids like this, plus other things, and you may make me smile, because I do need to smile from time to time. And if you want to give it a like, that would be appreciated as well. So until next time, it's me, John Doe in Tokyo. Checking out.